myself. My name is Olivia. Yesterday was my birthday and I turned 12 years old, which by the way means that I had about four hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks mom. Sorry Dr. Lee. <laughs> now to most of you, I might seem pretty young still. However, sometimes I feel pretty old, mostly because I do a lot of things that most adults do not have to do like how I manage my type 1 diabetes since I was 3 years old. My name is Reese Armour and I am 14 years old. My name is Reese Armour and I am 14 years old. Like my sister Olivia, I've been living with type 1 diabetes for a very long time. Since my sister was diagnosed first, I actually started as a type 3 diabetic, helping her and then graduated to diagnosing myself in our family car when I was 9 years old. I guess I should say thanks to Dr. Lee and sorry mom. If you do not live with type 1 diabetes on a regular basis, let me tell you that it's a huge commitment to stay healthy. I have to test my blood sugar 8 to 10 times a day, eat several miniature snacks, and while I love teenager junk food, I have to be cautious about my food choices. Because I do a great job with my T1D, I am able to be very involved with school, varsity golf, student council, and clubs, and I even volunteer at Mott's Children's Hospital. I love being able to manage my type 1 diabetes independently. However, sometimes it is a huge inconvenience to always have to explain to the world of what I am doing and why I am doing it. That's why Reese and I thought an app would be helpful. Together, we dreamed of a way where we could send an emoji to our mom and dad or our teachers or even our friends to help, to help explain what we need to do. Like when I need to test my blood sugar which then shows that I need to eat a snack, even though the rest of my class does not. Or when I need to check my cell phone because my continuous glucose monitor is sending a warning that I'm going high or low. Teachers are not trained as nurses, nor are my coaches or advisors, so it's hard for them to remember what I need to do when they have a classroom or a team of kids in the room. Thanks to Dr. Lee, she recognized that Reese and I are experts in type 1 diabetes care. She helped us take our drawings and turn them into something that would help in an app. Dr. Lee asked her students to tackle the project, and now we have an improvement that will definitely make type 1 diabetes a lot less hard. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. If there is one thing that I've learned through having type 1 diabetes in our family, it is that the little improvements in our care make life a lot easier. Like our family always says, kids first, diabetes second. And it's very simple, actually. You see all these different emojis. I'm so sorry about not having on the screen itself. But let's say I'm um, feeling a little shaky. All you have to do is click this and send it to um, any app that you want to. You can send it by text. You can send it by Facebook. You can send it by Twitter. And then you just communicate to who you need to about how you're feeling without trying to say write a paragraph about what it's all about. So that's about it. Thank you so much.